markets that are doing poorly, but the one that's really a dog is Boston. And the reason Boston's a dog is that MLS rules require us to register users before we um, give away the addresses of the listings. Um, we kind of want the Zillow deal where we don't have to do that. Um, we talked to um, folks about that at that MLS. Um, but you know, whenever somebody asks, you know, should I put registration at the front of my site so I can get better leads, um, I would say that I would do that because our Boston business is our smallest business. And the reason it's the smallest business isn't because there aren't a lot of people in Redfin's demographic there. There are tons of people in Redfin's demographic there. You know what we like? We like wealthy nerds. Um, you know, people who are really comfortable on the web. Um, it tends to be a younger demographic. Um, and there are lots of people in Boston like that. But we don't reach them. Our web traffic is pathetic. And the reason is that we have registration up front. But there's a benefit to it um, that's undeniable, which is that the quality of our offers is better in Boston than anywhere else because we don't get bozos and big bats taking a flyer on our property who happen to hit our website. Um, by the way, uh, another thing that I think has affected offer quality has been uh, Redfin has gotten a little more serious about search engine optimization, so we get people searching for all sorts of weird things. And a lot of times I'll dig into the logs and figure out how do these guys get on our site? Because more and more people come to our site through Google. And um, <clears throat> they come to our site searching for the strangest things, you know, dog parks and Buena Vista or something. And the bounce rate has gone up on our website because they really weren't looking for a home, they just landed on our web page. But also, we get just straight traffic where somebody like decides to draw an offer. And so we get a lot more garbage going through. We have to put a lot more filters in front of that. Um, but the simple answer about uh, registration is that I wouldn't do it. If you have to do it, we wouldn't do it. We have registration for listing alerts. Um, we require you to register, obviously, to make an offer. But we want you to build as much of a relationship as possible with the website um, as easily as possible and be as frictionless as we can. Is there a question? Yeah. Is there a just a no? This is just uh, no. This is just four months. These are the only five markets you're in? Yep. Okay. Thanks, so. Yep. Thank you. Uh, next up. So, um, what's our demographic? We do a lot of surveys on this. Um, the percentage of customers who are in technology used to be around 50%, now it's around 40%. Uh, technology customers still convert better. If we survey two audiences. We survey the people who are on our website, and then we survey the people actually buy a house through us. Um, and then we actually segment people who buy a house with people who try and succeed and people who try and fail. You know, people that have to make four offers or five offers or seven offers are less profitable for us than people who have to make one. Um, but uh, the successful customers are about 40% of technology, but only around 27% uh, of, our, of, our, of our audience that's on the website is in technology. So it's, clearly there's a disproportionate conversion. And by the way, we talk about this in terms of two stages. There's a conversion stage where they go from being on the website to working with an agent. That's conversion for us. And then the close rate is they go from working with an agent to being in a home and completing the transaction. So. Um, we try to understand what segments convert and then what segments close. And for a while, we actually really worked hard to get people to convert that didn't close. You know, there were some people where we could get them to make an offer, but then every offer they made was crap. And so it's been kind of a, a learning process for us. Um, but about 40% of our technology is buy almost all of them are under 45, uh, and most of them are under are 35 or under. Um, we do get an unusually wealthy segment, so they are buying homes above the median, but they tend to be first-time home buyers, um, so about 42% are first-timers. Um, I think part of that is that people who are buying their second home have a relationship already with the agent, so getting them to switch is a little bit harder, um, and then part of that is just that uh, you know, people who are a little more traditional uh, tend to go with another type of agent. Um, the number of people who have heard about Redfin in the press has gone down. You know, we've seen that number be as high as 44%, I think, and now it's around 38%. Uh, what's really helped us, um, I think we're the only company doing this. We don't have truly voices um, for our forum that's as strong as that. But I think we're the only brokerage that does have a forum. And we use a third party for that. Um, we didn't have time to build it ourselves. There are only 12 engineers, uh, which is one reason that it's not as good as we want it to be. But it's 
still gets the job done. Lithium is the provider that we use, and if you're running a website, I might consider it because people do complain about our agents there, which is our agents for good stuff, um, but they also say nice things about our agents, and that's been the number one shift for us in getting conversion, is people say, well, you know, I see the bad, I see the good. Uh, we basically feel that if you knew everything about our agents, you'd be more likely uh, to convert, uh, not less likely. Everybody worries that you know, some, some guy in Bangalore doesn't know anything about the local real estate market, he doesn't have any experience, and they're you know, okay, we're very proud of our agents. You guys can test that. Um, we're very proud. Um, and so the agents uh, going into the forums was controversial for us um, because we knew that um, a couple of things would happen that if we screwed up the deal, that person would shoot over there. Number two, we knew that other brokers would troll the site for their prospects, um, which does happen. You know, they always sign their name, and you write your email address and their phone number, and they answer a question that one of our customers has, and you know, try to try to off some of the customers. And that's that's just going to happen. But it's been a net positive for us. And um, you know, if I were to give you anything that would be useful, that might be it. I mean, I wish if I'd known how good it was for us, we'd have done it sooner. Part of it was that we just didn't get to it. 